Subscribe and like click please. Hi I made this video as a funny special play video. We show hook and toss play in two types. It is a memorable play for me because my opponent played this game in my first college freshman year. The first play is the hook and toss way of doing the most the second is a little more spooky hook and toss play. This play is about creating the right timing. That's why we need to have a high probability of success on the hook and how to plan and get toss without being disturbed by the defenders. It's not easy to play, but if you succeed to toss, you have a high probability of touchdown, or you can make a big play. Let me tell you the essential elements of this play. 1. Complete timing with quarterback and receiver with hook pass must be preceded. 2. The timing of the receiver that receives the hook pass and the receiver that receives the toss are also important. If you give it too fast, the defenders will have time to fully follow the toss receiver. Three. The distance between the receiver that receives the hook pass and the receiver that receives the toss is important. If the distance between the two players is too great, the toss play itself will not be successful and the defenders will have time to respond. If the distance between the two players is too close, the defenders will have room to engage both players, so a distance of 4 to 5 yards will be appropriate. Four. The running speed of the player who receives the toss is important. If this player is slow, he will not have much yards to get after receiving the toss, so if this player's running speed is fast he can aim for big play and even touchdown.
These special plays need a lot of practice but they are more surprising than normal games. So if you think you have to win, or if you think your team is less competitive than your opponent, you can get a good effect. What do you think about the videos I made? Communicate with comments and grow together. Click subscribe and like.